Kevin. Kevin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Welcome to Vin Chevrolet. Steve told me uh, you're in the market for a new pickup truck. Yeah. And uh, he was uh, fortunate enough to bring you to the dealership to take a look at the uh, GMC Sierra. What do you think it looks so far? It looks pretty good. It's uh, definitely an improvement. Pretty sharp truck, isn't yeah. it? Well, hopefully over the next uh, few minutes I'll be able to show you a few things about the GMC that will uh, make it uh, at the top of your list for a new truck. Um, follow me, I'll introduce you to the uh, side of the vehicle. This is the SLT Z71 model. Uh, so you'll notice you've got the upgraded polished aluminum wheels. One thing I really want to draw your attention to, you mentioned you were looking for a premium vehicle. Just feel on the inside of here. These are your padded wheel items. So when you're driving a truck, chances are one of these days you might drive on a gravel road. Without wheel liners, you're getting those stones kicked up. It's going to cause a lot of noise. And uh, even with a wheel liner, it still causes noise. It's supposed to under plastic. So it's something you see on a premium car. We've now moved into our premium trucks. Does it come in all trucks? It does not come in all trucks, but when you get to the SLT trim level, it is standard. And you did mention you were going to be looking for something with yeah. leather and a few bells and whistles, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, I know you're going to be some towing, so let's take a look at the back of the truck. And I'll show you a few reasons why people fit the GM trucks to do the work for them. So on the back, you can see this package has the uh, standard factory hitch. You had mentioned you wanted to tow 7,000 pounds. This truck will definitely tow 7,000 pounds and give you room to upgrade. One of the benefits that most of my customers like about the new trucks, a lot of the older trucks and even some of the newer trucks from the competition will have the uh, mounts for your plugs down underneath. And if you know a few people who have been towing, uh, sometimes you back into that trailer and it just knocks that mount right out. So we've got our six prong on the top, and then on the bottom you've got the uh, four prong, which you'll see in some of the smaller trailers. So no need to worry about having to get an extension anymore. Can you do me a favor and just open up the tailgate? The SLT trucks come equipped with the easy fold tailgate, so you don't have to worry about dropping down and making a lot of noise anymore. There's a torsion bar built into here, which will allow the tailgate to come down nice and smooth. Close up pretty firm, doesn't it? That's pretty cool. On the inside, you notice this one does not have a box liner, but we can definitely take care of that for you through our GM accessories. We have a GM factory box liner, which we can have installed, or if you prefer a spray in liner, we have that option available as well. Would you need a cover for the top of the truck, or would you leave it just the way it is? I need a cover. You need a tunnel cover? We'll look at those options when we get inside, if that's okay. Has anyone ever talked to you uh, about uh, limited slip differential or uh, locking differential for any of the trucks you've been looking at? No, no, no. Limited slip differential is what's standard on most of the trucks when you get into this category. GM was fortunate a number of years ago to make a partnership with a company called Eaton. And they have a patented system called G80 locking differential. That's equipped on this truck and believe me when I tell you I've seen videos where a four wheel drive pickup truck is underperformed by a two wheel drive locking differential pickup truck like the one that you see here. Locking differential ensures that you've got maximum torque going to both of your rear wheels. So even if you have one tire up in the air with no traction at all, the, uh, once there's a difference in rotations or RPMs from right to left, it automatically locks your rear end to give you a solid axle. So you're getting almost 100% of your torque to the wheel that's on the ground. Versus limited slip, we're usually 30% of your power is to the wheel that's on the ground, and 70% of your power goes to the wheel that's spinning up in the air. Do you ever get inside the box of your truck? Yeah. Or would you normally access things from outside? Uh, I hop up inside all the time. From the outside of the truck, you notice the step over right is pretty easy. So if your toolbox, your lunchbox, anything you need to get to, it's pretty easy. And they put these really nice covers on the top, so that's the about scratching the box. Getting into the truck is a little bit easier. When the tailgate is up or down, they've now added these notches, which we've taken from the old Avalanche. Great idea, I don't know why we didn't have it in our truck sooner, and right now we're the only ones that have it. That difference, even though it's four or five inches, give yourself a try. Makes all the difference in the world getting into the truck. I see your friend will appreciate that too, won't they? So now that we've talked a little bit about this little stick thing that some places have. Yes, a lot better than the stick. Um, now that we've got uh, everything we talked about on the outside of the truck, why don't we hop on the inside? Come on over to the passenger side. Right. Were you going to be having any passengers in the back? Yeah. So with the crew cab, you'll notice that it will seat six, depending on the seating configuration that you have, and very comfortably it'll seat four people. 
How do you feel in there? Awesome. And would you say the guys that you're working with are bigger or smaller than you? Uh, bigger. But... Bigger? Would they feel comfortable? I think so. Awesome. Anything else in the back you think they'd worry about? Perfect. Come on up front where you're going to spend most of your time. You can have a seat up front and I'll hop on the driver's side. So when you get into an SLT pickup truck, you're going to expect a lot already. You know, your heated leather seats, full power seats, and of course a host of accessories that we'll get into in a few moments. <clears throat> are you going to be the only driver or are you going to have a different driver in the vehicle from time to time? Main driver. main driver. Nice thing about being the main driver in the SLT, you get a full uh, memory seating package. Most people talk about it when there's two drivers, but when it's just you, the odd time, you'll give your truck to a buddy, he'll go for a ride, he'll mess up all your settings, and you get back in the truck, you got to fix everything, right? Yeah. So with the memory settings, you get in the truck, you press your number one, everything's back. Your mirrors, your power adjustable pedals, no, really? and, and your seat. Be nice to have that, wouldn't it? Yeah. All right. Just going to uh, turn the car into the on position and show you one of my favorite features, which is the uh, infotainment system. Have you got a phone handy? Yes, I do. Most of the trucks in the marketplace right now have Bluetooth compatibility. I don't think anybody's done a better job than General Motors in this area, and I want to show you that. Can I borrow your phone? Yep. So I want to show you, first step, when you have a Bluetooth phone, how you can connect it. Okay. And connecting some vehicles, it takes a long time. Some vehicles are very simple. You notice at the top here, phone button, yeah. we have our phone button, and we have pair of device. Once we have your phone set, we can go into our Bluetooth settings, we'll scan, And down on the bottom will show your GM IntelliLink. Okay. Yep. You click OK. Yes. And now our car is successfully paired. A lot, a lot easier than it used to be. You know, you Very simple. Button, you got to talk to the computer and know what the hell is. So now what we can do is we can talk on the phone. Yep. We can also access any of the media files that we have on here if we want to listen to an audio book or some of our old uh, old CDs we now have on our phones. Okay. Pretty neat, eh? So far, what do you think of the color touch display? Ooh, pretty, pretty intuitive, well. isn't it? Yep. So this screen that we're looking at right now is the compass. Uh, most people think you have to go to a large screen in order to get the navigation system. Uh, the navigation system is available, but the standard equipment is this compass with our turn-by-turn -turn navigation system through OnStar. Okay. So you're going to get six months where you can try it on Star at no charge, and if you like the service, which most of my customers do, you just continue it and you've got unlimited directions every time you get in the truck. Nice. Pretty nice, eh? Yeah. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> going back to the media, now that we have our phone connected, we can actually access all of the music that we have on our phone just with a touch of, touch of a button. So right now we're looking at an audio book that you have on your phone that we can listen to. Maybe we'll want to move into some music. We can access that as well. That's, that's cool. Most people, when they're in a truck and they're working in the truck, they just want to make sure that they can access their contacts and make their phone calls. This is where GM's done a great job integrating, and all of your contacts are now on your truck. Oh, it automatically populates it. Automatically populates it. And even better, everything on the truck has a voice, tail, uh, a voice dial system. So... You can pick a name. Let's see if we've got anyone here that we can call. Do so you recognize any names we can use? I recognize them all. <laughs> it's all my right. phone here, list. let's call somebody. Command, please. Call Yvette Eugenia Debrita at home. Calling Yvette Eugenia Debrita at home. Pretty simple. So you told me earlier you've got close to a thousand people on your phone. You were able to sort through it, and now we're calling, sure. all without having to pre-store those oh, numbers. It's even got a photo from your phone. It's even got oh, a picture, awesome. doesn't it? That's what do you awesome. think so far? It's awesome. Awesome. We'll learn a lot more once we take it for a drive, won't we? Yep. Awesome. We'll buckle up your seatbelt and we'll go for a drive.
Looks like you had a great drive. Oh, nice. Smooth. Awesome. You probably noticed when we took the vehicle out for a drive, just because of the time of day, halfway through the test drive, the lights automatically came on. Yeah, they did. Pretty yeah. cool, isn't it? Yeah. So the way that's activated is up top here, we have a little lighting sensor. Okay. This vehicle and all Sierras come with automatic light control. So when it gets dark outside, whether it's dark outside or you're going through a tunnel or just parking in your garage, it'll automatically turn on your lights when it's appropriate. All right. One of the other things I wanted to mention, as we were on the drive, we played around a little bit with the tow haul mode. Yep. Tow haul mode is going to change how your transmission shifts in order to give you optimal fuel economy and optimal towing power. Once your trailer's hooked up, you're going to be able to use GM's integrated trailer brake, which is now located at the top of the dash instead of the bottom of the dash you see in most trucks, whether it's factory installed or aftermarket installed. Being factory installed, you have a few other things that go along with it. Your brakes are now integrated into our trailer sway control. So if a big gust of wind comes by, hits the trailer, it starts to get away from you, the truck's going to fix it already. Oh. Also, on those steep inclines that you're going to have where you're at a stop sign and you've got that trailer behind you, Hill Start Assist is going to allow you time to take your foot from the brake to the gas. Okay. It keeps the brake lightly applied so your trailer doesn't roll back into the traffic behind you. All right. That'll save you from having a mess, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> you asked earlier about remote start. And I showed it to you on the key, yep. and this is a great feature a lot of manufacturers have been coming up with, where you can start the vehicle, you can do it from 220 uh, meters away. Yeah, it's nice to start you know, in the morning. We've also added another feature with our remote link, which is part of our OnStar package. The okay. remote link control package you're going to get free for five years, and you can start your truck from anywhere in the world you have cellular coverage. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So if you get back from vacation, you're in the airport, it's cold outside, and you want to start your truck, you pull out your phone, you hit start, when you get to your truck, it's running. All part of your complimentary five-year remote link package. Can't remember if you locked your car, pull out your phone, double check it, hit lock, it'll say confirm, you can sleep with ease knowing your truck's locked. Come on inside, let me show you how easy it is to own this new truck. All right.